Hello, hello, hello. I'm Laurie. I'm the Thrifty Picker. And let me <clears throat> go refresh this real quick. Let's see here. <clears throat> Sorry if I sound a little uh, congested. It's just the weather. It goes from one extreme to the next. Oh, let's see. Make sure this is muted, which I'm sure it is. Yep. All right. So how is everybody this Saturday afternoon? I'm trying to get this haul video done since the other day. We went, um, I don't remember which day it was. Tuesday, maybe? Monday? Might have been Monday. Monday evening. Uh, we've seen, um, well, actually, Teresa's one that's seen it. Somebody had uh, posted on Facebook about free yard sale stuff. It was everything left over from a yard sale. Um, <clears throat> so I'm like, yep, let's go. So we went and rummaged through it, and I picked quite a, a few good pieces, I think. Uh, a lot of it's glass, uh, a couple toys, uh, things like that. So I was going to do a live haul video and show you what I got. So uh, let me start with these... Um, well, first off, I got this, which is a carpet bag. It's a horse print carpet bag. It's got some staining on it a little bit. Um, not sure how to get that cleaned off, but and the zipper's broke on it, but it's still got a really nice print to it, and it's still got all the handles and stuff, so um, I might even keep it for myself since I do love horses. Um, have one major stain on it, but... I thought about using carpet cleaner on it since it is considered a carpet bag. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> got that, and then I got, I did not know what this was. At first I thought it was a coin bank because it has this little thing here and this little slot here. And I've seen this little emblem, which I don't think you can see it because of the light. Uh, kind of right there there at first just a glance then i thought it was Polly pocket i thought well this isn't opening like i thought it should and i you know i noticed that this come open and uh, this come open it's got these little thing here and i'm thinking what is this so i started really looking at it and researching and i found out it's a squinkies or squinkies or whatever those are uh barbie surprise dream house i guess you can put the little round things here and you can put like a little they come with little coins you can put in there and turn it and it gets a little squinkies out of there because you can put them you can load it up here um i think they're like i can get like 15 dollars out of it as is excuse me so i was happy with that once i figured out what it was i kept searching all these for hours looking for poly pocket i think no i don't think it's poly pocket it's too big um and then i realized I started looking at different logos and I realized, duh, that's Barbie. <laughs> duh. So I got that. And we got this little Fisher Price. This was the um, Fisher Price Loving Family Sweet Streets Cottage. Uh, these are all in really good condition, too. Um, very nice and clean. And this actually had a telltale sign that they picked it up at the thrift shop. Uh, it's got the little doors that open and it opens up, you know, into a little playhouse. The refrigerator opens. I think this side opens up too. So it opens up that way. I look these. I I, I see what they were, but I didn't see the what they're going for. I'm figuring probably about twelve bucks. With you know, didn't charge shipping. And they must have really loved Squinkies because they have this. And it's, I'm not going to play it because it never stops, but you push this button, it has music, and it does go around and around and around. You put the little squinkies here, and it lights up. Uh, that was part of that deal. Uh, I think that was $15.99, I think, or $10.99 maybe it went for. That's a demo mode. So it, and it works. But I'm not pushing that button. I got, this is another squinkies. Little squeaky thing. It's called Dew's Beauty Center. This is probably about a $9.99 piece, $8.99 that you can sell used. That. 
So, and I got a paintball bag that don't look like it's ever been used. That's the JT um, paintball brand. Got that, which is kind of cool because I just listed some paintball stuff the other day. Then I got a Henderson Aquatics uh, wetsuit, shorty. What they call a shorty wetsuit. Zipper at the front. Uh, I think these are going for like $29.99, give or take. The long sleeve shorties. They call it shorties because it has the shorts on the bottom. So it's a Henderson. It's really nice. Got that. And I got a set of, which it took me a while. I got a set of the uh, Compro. It's the U.S. Oops. But it just hit my keyboard. U.S. Divers. The Aqualung, they're pink. I found the first one, flippers, fins, whatever you want to call them. I thought if there's one, there's got to be another. So I kept looking and looking and looking, and I finally found, I got the set. So we're looking probably about eh, $24.99 for the set, give or take, being pink and all. So I got that. I got 40 different shot glasses. I'm not going to show you all 40 of them, but I'm going to show you a couple that... Um, that I did look up that, you know, there was some decent, you know, some money. This one was really cool. This is the Chicago. It's got like a lean to it and it's got like a textured bottom on it. Just a really nice um, collectible piece. And here's another Chicago. Um, different, the Windy City. This one was really cute. One, well, not cute, but cool. But the one like this just sold for $19.99. New York Fire FDNY. I'm live. And then we have. Uh, Come on, you guys. Let's go. Come on, Andy. We'll be Sydney, Australia. Sydney, Australia. And I just, I even texted her and told her I was live. And we got, uh, this is close to me. This is like. 10 minutes for me. Um, American Amusement Park. Uh, one similar to this sold for $20. It was just a black print on the glass. This is a gold uh, leaf. All the, the lettering is there, which is a music park closed down many moons ago. Um, I got the Luxar Vegas etched glass, tall shot glass. I also got some other really cool. This one, it took me a while to figure out what it was. But it was a really nice piece. And I I got this. This is a piece of Fenton Amberina um, depression glass. It's just a little, like a little candy dish, a little basket. Um, really nice piece. And it's hard to find pieces like this still fully intact. A lot of times you get them and they're chipped up here or they're chipped around here or just somewhere you know, especially when you find them like I did, because it was literally in a pile of stuff and it was still in good shape. And I grabbed it because of the color. I knew it was depression glass. I just didn't realize it was Fenton. Um, that's my first piece of Fenton I've ever found. Um, then we had, I've got, got quite a bit of the cranberry glass out of this, this pick, um, but this, there's no maker's mark on it. Um, and it almost looks hand done because uh, there's a lot of uh, imperfections in it and like indentations um so i don't know what would have caused that but that's the cran that's cranberry and then i got this cranberry like little globe piece got that and it's all in good shape too there's no chips or cracks in it that and then I got of course everybody knows what this is this is the Cape Cod Avon Cape Cod uh, mini footed goblet these go for about $8.99 a piece online I've sold them in the past in fact I've got two more out there that are listed so this will go with the quantity that I have because um, it's pretty much in the same condition it's a very nice uh, collectible piece this piece I thought was, uh, when I first seen it, I grabbed it thinking it was Fiesta because it was getting dark. And of course, if you look at the bottom, just a quick glance, that kind of looks like Fiesta. When actually it is uh, Trissa. Uh, 
It's just like a little ice cream dish. And this piece here will probably go for about uh, $15, give or take. And then I found a an, an genuine uh, part, Chrysler Jeep. This is a left-hand uh, mirror for a 96 Jeep Wrangler. It's got the, uh, the part number on it right here. It tells you everything it is. You just look up that part number. It says Chrysler, which I've never sold automotive parts, but for free, I grabbed it. Um, here we go. And I'm trying to do this real quick because I have to get some stuff listed before I take off again today. Um, and then I have this amber piece of depression glass. Not sure if this is Indiana glass or not. I have not found any markings on it to show who made it. It's really neat. It's got the uh, faceted uh, sides. It is the amber colored glass. It's a darker version of it. Sometimes you get it where it's more orange, closer to the, the Fenton glass. And last but not least, my favorite find besides the Fenton. The Fenton was a good find and it's so pretty. It's Do I want to sell it? Yes and no. <laughs> this is, I grabbed it because at first I thought it was marble. Um, it was dark. And then when I picked it up, I realized it was too light to be marble. So I threw it in my pile. Actually, I threw it in that carpet bag. Um, and so I got, and when I got it home, I just brought it in here and put it in my office because I was more concerned about that dish. I wanted to see if it was uh, Fenton or not. Not Fenton. Fiesta. Well, this... When I start looking at the next day, I'm like, well, that's a, you know, it's a shave brush. I thought, well, that's plastic. That's interesting. Plastic. It's not marble. Um, and I started looking at it and I looked at the bottom and it said, ever ready, uh, set in rubber. It's got a number 200 BH made in the USA. So I just typed in ever ready or vintage ever ready shave brush and holder. And what popped up was it's Bakelite. Because there was a yellow one just like it online. Um, this one has it has a crack in it. Uh, so the one the yellow one sold for $39.99. This isn't going to sell for that much because of the, the crack. It's, it doesn't affect it anyway. It's not broken or anything, but you can see the the crack in it there. So I'll probably put it on for $20 or something like that. But still. Um, and I also got I forgot. I also got a set of these flat scraff. Orleans. These are like $8.99 a piece and I got four of them. So I haven't added up everything because I haven't priced all these shot glasses, but everything I bought or bought, everything I picked up was free. The only thing um, that cost me was the $20 I put in my truck for gas, which this will cover that or any one of these pieces probably will cover that or a combination of, of a few of them. So, you know, don't underestimate, um, leftover yard sale stuff because sometimes you still can find some good stuff and i'm going to make some money on this you know i might not make you know a thousand dollars or nothing but still that's more money than i had before i picked it all up so but that's just a quick uh, haul video um to show you what i picked up um so now i gotta start finishing up getting it all researched and priced because it's going to take me forever to get all these shot glasses because some of them are worth a little bit of money uh, some of them more than others, some of them just a few dollars, but still, like I said, for free, I wasn't going to pass it up. So keep an eye out on your Facebook pages for free yard sale stuff. You know, a lot of people you, at the end of their yard sale, they don't want to have to put it all away. So like I did, I donated mine to the church because I didn't want to have to keep it. I didn't have to want to have to put it all away. So, and it was stuff that I had listed. It didn't sell. I had relisted, still didn't sell. It was stuff that I'd had for a long time. And it was time for it to move on and find another home so that I could get more stuff. So that's all I have for right now. I appreciate you watching or coming back later and watching. And I will talk to you all later. So everybody get out there and get to picking. You never know what you're going to find. Bye, everybody.